Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Week Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. In this demonstration, I'm going to prove to you the reason why our technology is better than anything else on the market. Now, I've seen certain screen paints by customers where they show off the screen, but in order for that screen to thrive, that customer had to put that screen in a completely dark environment just in order for the screen to react. Now, I've seen another demonstration where I saw a little lamp in the corner. I saw a screen that was probably four by four, probably at the most. And you can tell where the projector was. When you look at a screen that's four by four, a small screen, that means the projector either is at a distance and the image is actually tightened in to actually fit that particular, um, particular area, or the bottom line, the projector is just too close to the screen. Now you see a little lamp in the corner, lamp at the side, little lamp overhead, that's nothing. That's an ambient light controlled environment. The reason why is because the light is controlled on how much light will actually hit the screen. Especially if you have a lamp with a shade on it, it's just, it's being controlled. Now with condensed lighting, the only way you can control that is with a dimmer. Other than that, when it hits, it hits. Window light, you have no control over that. Once that light hits, it hits, that's it. There's no way to control window light unless you got a shade in front of it or you got your blinds on a slant. I explained the theory behind the slant blinds that when light hits it, it directs down, it doesn't go straight through. It just gives the uh, illusion that there's light hitting the screen. Now let me show you what an ambient light environment looks. And some people may say, or one person may say that this is extreme lighting. This is the lighting that I have in my living room. So let me show you. First of all, my screen is 100 and 17 inch 235.1 but when done and at 69 it's about 130 inches my projector sits 14 feet away from the screen so first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on our lights and you can see this is the reason why I show you the demonstration first without turning on the projector you can see the physical light that comes in from my condensed lighting is actually hitting the screen not on the side of the screen giving it an appearance that it's, the area is illuminated but actually physically hitting the screen next we're going to go over to my window and we're going to open up my blinds all the way up. Now once you look at my blinds, look at them closely, oops, wrong one. See how they're straight? You see light coming in. This is light directly hitting the screen. I'm going to turn out the um, overhead light so you can see that there's light physically coming in and hitting the screen. The screen is lit. See how the wall is illuminated. All right, so we got illuminated wall. We got light coming in. My projector, I've done this me measurement before, sits 14 feet back from the screen. Plenty of light in the environment. Now I'm gonna show you how an ambient light screen is supposed to react. As I said before, you gotta watch out for these demonstrations because these are controlled, uh, lit environments. And especially, like I said, with the screen being that small, the pixelations are gonna be pushed together a lot tighter. The image is gonna be a lot more sharper. Now, when you do it on a larger scale, that means number one, the projector has to travel 14 feet, hit the screen. The pixelations are gonna expand a little bit more because the image is larger. All right, so here we go. Remove this and we will begin. Now, keep in mind how much light is physically hitting the screen. Now, as I said before about the smoke and mirrors, there's no smoke and mirrors here. It's basic. Window, projector, distance, screen. That's it. Got your ambient light. Got your projector. That's it. And the screen, of course. Keep in mind, we're 14 feet away from the screen. See, it's easy to make a screen look amazing when you can control the light in the environment. I can't control that window light coming in. Those blinds are fully open. Now I'm gonna come over here for a minute. Hold on, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna open up my door because my screen does not sit behind my door. So we'll open up the door a bit here. There we go. My neighbor's always wondering what the heck am I doing? Like, what is this guy doing now? Let's get something to hold it. Matter of fact, I can't. I got my door swings shut, so 
I got my door open here. We have light coming and hitting the screen. Look what we have right here. All right, so let me hit this real quick. Door open. Now keep in mind, I've done these same demonstrations with the TI-47. Now, that's the funny thing about it. Now, let me explain something to you real quick. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind in this demonstration, let me shut my door real quick. Keep in mind in this demonstration, as I said before, when they do reviews on our technology, they will never stick it in the same environment as our screen because their screen can't take it. Their screen will fade out. That's why you saw in the customer demonstration that that demonstration was done in the dark because if you put the lights on in this kind of environment that screen will wash out so fast it's not even funny this is why we can back up our technology now you see the demonstration I just did here I guarantee you bar none if they do a side-by-side -side demonstration with this technology it'll never be done in this kind of environment they have to keep it on their level in order for this screen to, to thrive that's the only way it can be done because like I said look at this demonstration right here Windows open. Now if I decide to close my windows, my blinds, right now, which I got the opposite way out, and just use the everyday light that I have in here, let's see what happens. And consider the fact this is still more light in that demonstration. And this is without the window light hitting the screen. Keep in mind, there's no shades in the room. Now, you see how much light's hitting that fireplace? That's how much light's hitting this screen right now. Black levels don't wash out. Screen looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to take a walk around the living room real quick. Let's go over into the dining room. I'm back it up here in the dining room real quick. Now see, this is an environment that people can relate to. You can relate to this environment. When you got an environment with little light in the corner, little light up in the ceiling, a little tiny screen, and like I said, when the screens are small like that, what happens is it pushes the pixelations together, especially when it fits the screen perfectly. Now, keep in mind, I'm gonna say this one time, when it fits the screen perfectly, that means the image has been sized to the screen, which means the pixelations are tighter. Now, we do demonstrations on smaller sample sheets testing out of technology. The screen is always overlapped. It's hitting the wall, it's hitting something out, but it's always overlapped. And we also show the distance on how far the projector is sitting back. Now, when you don't see the distance of the projector and how far it sits back, it's just a clear indication that either the projector is too close or the image is just zoomed to fit that little area. Because at 14, 13, 12, even 8, even 5 feet with a long throw, you're going to overlap that surface even at a 4x4 four four screen. Trust me, I do my homework. Alright, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Just showing the proof is in the pudding when it comes down to our technology. You know, you got a lot of people out there that are using a lot of uh, smoke and mirrors to make their technology look fantastic. You just have to be to see and read between the lines. Let's have a little fun here with this last demonstration right here. Started that off a little early. Now, for those of you who want to know what this screen paint is, this is our new screen paint. This is our, uh, um, sorry to say it's the wrong word, Elite. This is our Eclipse Ultra 4K Supreme Cinema. Now, keep in mind, I've done these damn, sa sorry, I didn't say damn right there. I didn't say it. We've done these same demonstrations uh, with the TI-47. All our screen paints are tested the same way. Look, at, look how beautiful the color looks on that. You want to see what it looks like with the lights out? 
whole nother level with the lights out. Turn the lights back on. Screen that has no effect whatsoever. Now look at my dimmer. My dimmer is all the way up. Just want you to see that right there. I'm gonna show you everything in the video. See, that's my dimmer right there. All the way up. Got some paint on my hands. Let's, uh, where's my phone at? Let's go back a little bit there. Just a little bit. Window open. Light cascading in. Like I said, these are tests people are not going to do. You can't do these tests. The screen's going to wash out on them. They know the screen's going to wash out on them. Look at those colors, man. Absolutely gorgeous. hitting the screen all right I'm gonna sign off here hope you enjoyed the video demonstration just gonna let this play a little longer My cord was hanging out from the back from my Chromecast. Last thing I want to do is trip over that because if I trip over that, my signal goes out all together. So I had to make sure I had the signal in there right. All right, let's do this one again. Oh, let's hit the window too. Mine's low, eh? All right, this time I'm going to sign out. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching. I had to go outside for a minute. I'm gonna see something for a minute. I'm gonna do some fun here for a minute. Just a minute, just a minute, just give me a minute. I'm gonna have some fun here for a minute. Alright. So here my open door over here outside. I'm going to see if I can see my screen from outside the window, but the, um, the whatchamacallums are in the way, my uh, screens, so you can't see it past my screens. Look at all this beautiful light, man. Look at all this beautiful light outside. Why would I want to block my windows up from all this beautiful light? Why would I want it to be dark in here? Who wants that? Look at that. All right. Let me get on out of here. I was supposed to go pick something up about an hour ago. I am freaking late. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I know this is a bit of a wild one, you know, went outside. I was curious to see if I could see through the window and see the screen, but the um, screens are basically camouflaging, so I can't see inside the window. But summertime, I'll do it. You know, I'll have my screen up and then you'll see it from there. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I gotta go. I must have sent it like several times. Everyone have a good one. Got